Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Stephen A. Williams, president and founder of CreditRepairShop.com. I know that this information here will be very widely useful because we get these types of calls all the time about buying a new car or used car, and uh, it was a lemon, you know. Uh, you know, there was something that was wrong with the vehicle. You had problems with it right away, and it just uh, wouldn't work for you. So let me tell you, uh, this here is a lawsuit that is in effect, and it's actually uh, going on for all 50 states, except for one state. There was one state, when I got to this page, it had popped up, and it said that it, you do, do not qualify for this. But did you, per I mean, I'm sorry, it is for new vehicles. I take that back about uh, a, a used vehicle. But did you purchase a new vehicle between 2018 to 2021 that is still under warranty? Does the vehicle exhibit continuous problems despite multiple repairs? And I went through this with my, uh, 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 and it was a used vehicle. That's what, while I kind of got a little bit, uh, was kind of confused on this. My G-Wagon, I had a problem with my G-Wagon. And what happened was, and it was used. I don't, I don't, I don't buy cars that are new right off the lot. And um, it had a problem like two years later. So I drove the car straight for two years, and then all of a sudden, this issue kept coming up with the with the, where the light was coming on, and they would fix it, get it back, light come on, fix, get it back, and then one of the times they gave it back to me, uh, something was going on with the gas tank to where when I would put gas in the car, it would say that it was full, even though I know it wasn't full. Like I could only put like $5 worth of gas in the car and it was, you, I couldn't put any more. And I was thinking like, baby, this car could explode. So long story short, what happened was I took it to the dealer. It was still under warranty and they ended up buying the vehicle back from me. They paid me $63,000 for the vehicle I had paid seventy three thousand, so I had actually got some of my money back on the usage of the vehicle. I had it for two years, and uh, so you, if you if you are uh, a good customer with a certain deal, certain uh, with a certain manufacturer, so I would Mercedes knew that I had purchased several vehicles from them over the years. And I don't know how they were able to look it up by the VIN and they saw it and they were like, we're going to send this company out. I don't want to promise too much. They sent them out. They met me at the dealer and they said that they were going to buy the G-Wagon back from me. And they did. And I got my money and I ended up getting another vehicle for my wife. Uh, but so under this, if you're if you purchased a vehicle that is still under warranty, it has mechanical problems that the dealer has uh, been unable to fix after several attempts. You may have a lemon and you may qualify. So it says that uh, cars, trucks, SUVs, vans, recreational vehicles, boats, motorcycles, and others. And this is confusing because it says if you've purchased a vehicle that is still under warranty. And uh, I had purchased the Mercedes. It was a certified vehicle, but it was used. And it was still under warranty, so maybe that was how they did it. So it says here, lease vehicles or used vehicles may also qualify uh, for protection under lemon laws, but laws may vary from state to state. Un a vehicle has uh, a defect or several defects that dealer is unable to repair after reasonable number of attempts or time is still under warranty. You may qualify for lemon law relief. So this is, uh, so you might be saying, well, what do you mean by, uh, if it, you know, I thought lemon law was for all the time, was something that would happen all the time. What they've done is they've updated the lemon law. Lemon law has been around for a long time, but what they've done is they've updated uh, the, uh, to where you don't have to go through so much that you had to go through to prove that as a lemon. And here it is here, North Carolina residents do not qualify for this investigation. And I'm gonna give you the link to this website so you can uh, fill in your vehicle information. It'll be off to the right here. Fill in your vehicle information and they can do, uh, you know, can check to see if you would qualify. And then it has here for different states, the different lemon law. And it says here, how do you qualify 
for Lemon Law and it's going to, you know, tell you some things here that you have to go through. And then what is the Lemon Law buyback? This is what I ended up having done. The manufacturer buys the vehicle back. And I, it was called StirCycle was the uh, company that actually came and uh, reviewed everything and gave me the check for the vehicle. Met them right there at the dealership and they gave me the check right there and took possession of the vehicle. Uh, how many repairs are considered reasonable? It depends on the nature of the defect. It involves some time, something that affects the vehicle's safety, such as brake steering or lighting. Must uh, be repaired the first time. Major component seller can have up to three or four attempts. So three or four attempts on there. On mine, it ended up being, I think, maybe what, what, what ended up happening was that uh, gas tank issue. Where it was just like, I don't even feel safe. I thought the vehicle could blow up. Uh, it has some more stuff on here. Here's a number that you can call for an evaluation. Uh, you should take advantage of this. It, it, even if you have a used vehicle, uh, if they're not able to, to help you with it, you sh if it's still under uh, the, the manufacturer's warranty, you should immediately call the manufacturer. Don't don't deal with the dealer anymore. Call the manufacturer and tell them what you're going through. They'll usually put some someone uh, that will go to the dealer and you know open up uh, some sort of uh, uh, maybe call a support ticket and uh, they will meet you there and they will review your uh, what's going on with your vehicle and then they could potentially just buy the vehicle back from you. Uh, so even if it's not new, you still have options. Uh, the dealer, all they're going to do is they're going to just keep trying to fix it. They get paid by the manufacturer or by the, the company that has the uh, uh, warranty. So they're not going to really care. You need to go directly to the manufacturer of the vehicle if it's still under the manufacturer's warranty. And then they will be the ones that would actually uh, buy the vehicle back from you. All right, I hope this is some good information for you. I just thought I'd pass this along because a lot of the times when people have repossessions, what they said is that the vehicle was just kept breaking down and they didn't know what to do. They couldn't afford to fix it anymore uh, or the dealer couldn't fix it and they just wasn't going to keep taking the car back to the dealer and then breaking down and having to tow it back to the dealer. And so they ended up just uh, giving the car back. All right, so if you need help with your credit, please visit us at thecreditrepairshop.com. Watch the video, What Makes Us Different, so you can see my eight-point validation process and my two-phase settlement process. If you need your credit report to scores, go to the website, your3scores.com. If you have debt collectors coming after you, grab my three-pack of letters, statute of limitations letter, debt validation letter, and a cease and desist collection activities letter. Thank you for your time. This is Stephen A. Williams, president and founder of thecreditrepairshop.com. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, post your questions and comments.